Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel, another Swiss Scissor 1 video, and welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss Scissor 1, and today we're gonna have some fun indeed, because we're back with the good old Q400 by the manufacturer of uh, Bombardier, of course, Canadian plane, and it's uh, it's very nice indeed, I mean, just look at this cockpit, uh, very good, yeah, what can we say, I, I just really like this plane, right, it's pretty much one of the most successful turboprops, I think, or maybe that's a little bit of an illusion to me, but I just see this plane most often, compared to other turboprop planes. Now, the Q400, though, has been around for, like, a few years now. It came out in 2000, but they're still, of course, producing these planes because they know there is a market for it. And yes, over 585 of these planes have been delivered so far. This is really a successful plane, damn. And if you want to get a Q400 yourself, you can buy one for only $21 million, which actually doesn't sound super bad. I mean, after all, the Q400 is not too small of a plane. That's actually really cheap for a turboprop like this. Obviously, it doesn't have any jet engines. Well, uh, it does have a turboprop and Oh, where are we now? But yeah, this is a turboprop engine. It's kind of a jet engine after all, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, that was a voice crack. Let's go and actually just fly this plane because that is the only part that's a little interesting about this aircraft. It's just that this plane is hard to fly. I've already talked about this. Uh, it's not particularly hard to fly. It's, it does take a little bit of practice, though. You know what I mean? Like here, especially in the flight simulator these days, you know, I fly uh, different planes every single day, and the Q400 always takes a little bit of time uh, to get used to. You know, especially with this takeoff, I think we impacted the tail. I think I could hear it. I mean, uh, let's just rewatch this here for a second. All right, this is the takeoff. As you can see, actually, it's it looks very interesting from, from behind as well. You know, the landing gear are pretty, you know, far apart. The main landing gears, right? There we go. I thought that was a tail strike. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Ahem. All right. We'll come back now in midair. I've done a lot of talking so far, but no action just yet. Um, that's going to come now. Let's actually try to land this plane properly, which again is a little bit of a problem for me personally, especially smooth landing. That's what we'll care about today because, you know, recently I had a little bit of a series where it's try to land planes smoothly like the A330, which, you know, as you might already know, is super satisfying to watch land because of its tilted landing gear. The Q400, on the other hand, isn't that smooth of a lander. Um, it's a little bit hard to figure it out, actually. All right. I don't have control of this plane properly. Properly. Yeah, maybe my controls are actually a little sensitive here. That may or may not go wrong. Let's go ahead though and try to get our plane landed here in range zero six. Okay, oh, we're stalling out. Oh my god, no. Okay, that's been a wasted landing. I genuinely tried not to do that. Let's go ahead and actually go around and try again. Luckily, we did not impact the engines on this hard landing, but we did the tail. Oh, and the wing and everything. Oh, that has not worked. Now, let's check out this landing. We did stall out, of course, uh, at a speed of like 110 knots. I didn't expect that to happen. Um... Because after all, this is just a turboprop. I would have thought that this plane could fly normally at 110 knots, but it didn't, apparently. And, uh, well, that was a little bit of a crash, but our plane is... Oh, damn. It's alive still. Oh. And we've impacted trees. Maybe we, we, we should try this again. I'm genuinely trying now. <laughs> let's try making a smooth landing. Come on. All right, we'll come aboard again. Let's go ahead and do this. Mm hmm Coming down nicely, I think, I guess. Nah, I don't know. Oh, come on. Smooth. Okay, that's not been smooth, and that's been a little weird. I don't know. I, I don't really have nice control of this plane. Let's go ahead and stop, though, for once. Since this landing has been an acceptable landing. Okay, here's the landing. Landing on the left, and then under the right main gear. <sighs> I don't know. Sometimes I feel like this plane doesn't want to come down to the ground. That's, like, something I've been feeling uh, for, like, a long, long time now. Now, actually, let's try this again. Do this smoother. But let's go to maybe a little bit of an interesting airport. I mean, Palma de Mallorca has, like, a 10,000-foot-long runway. Here it is. Ah, we, we need something, you know, more interesting than that. I mean, we could go to Le Mole Airport in the south of France. Let's go. All right, welcome aboard the beautiful Q400 plane. A little bit more of a more suitable plane place for this plane, I would think, from the size of the airport. This is not a large plane. It's not a super small one either, though. Um, so we may want to watch out and land somewhat in time. Alright, come on. Smooth, huh? Jesus Christ. Alright, maybe we need to really force this, right? Let's go ahead and not care about all that touchdown zone stuff. Let's just try getting this plane landed as smooth. Come on, we need like minus 50. We're now at minus 500 of feet per minute. Come on, let's go. All right, for that, we'll need a little bit of speed. I'd always like to land a little speedy when I want to land smoothly, because then I have full control of when the plane is actually coming down or not. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes this plane will not come down. Sometimes it completely crashes down. I don't really get it. Let's go ahead and do this very smoothly. We might, we might actually overrun. That was acceptable. 
What do you mean by acceptable? Now that was genuinely not smooth. Let's try this again then. Jesus Christ. Damn, I do really need some practice in this plane. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's do this again. 110 knots. Come on, we can do it. Uh, Alright, come on. How has this been a hard landing? Alright, come on, come on. Shoot. We're dying again. Alright, alright. Now, okay. Now we're struggling it's too much. It's genuinely starting to hurt me. Let's go ahead and fly at a bigger airport again. But really, we'll need a try. Come on. Let's do this buttery smoothly. Come on, we can do this. Alright, come on. Let's do this now with full concentration. We can do this. Very barely flare. We go. And we're coming down very slowly. Let's go. Smoothly and slowly. Minus 200 feet per minute? That was literally nothing. <laughs> That's still not a super smooth. I mean, we can look at this. I've done landings with minus 50. Jesus Christ. I mean, really, I, I tried my best here. And it was still not smooth. Jesus. Okay, let's try this again. We have to, you know, we were going to try it a lot of times, I guess. Another tip is maybe landing without flaps. And therefore, we'll have to use even more speed. Doesn't really help with our runway performance. But that gives me even more control of when the plane is exactly touching down. And when it's not touching down. All right, let's go ahead. We're now at 150 knots. This is the speed that you would see the 160, 170. This is the speed that we'd see a Concorde land. That maybe not a Q400. Now I have full control. All right, let's do this very smoothly. How smooth can we go? Okay, more smoothness. What? That's still way too high. Jesus Christ, we wasted the whole damn runway. Oh man. Literally, other planes are so easy to butter. Even I've managed to land a 737 at minus 50 feet per minute while I was drunk. That's like genuinely. I'm not joking, actually. All right, let's go. No damn way. Okay, that's been the smoothest so far, but still nothing, right? We need the indicator to say butter, because that's when we know. <gasps> yes! I've done it! But we're overrunning into the water. Okay, we actually did not die there. God damn it, we finally were able to somewhat have a smooth touchdown. Let's take a look at that butter landing. Come on. Alright, alright. Here it is, the touchdown. Oh, that was very good. That was very good, actually. All right. Yeah, really, it's impossible to butter this plane on a normal occasion. You need, like, a 20 million thousand feet long runway. But, you know, that's the thing what you get with turboprops. They are, in general, a little, a little rougher, you can say. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you very much to all my members, especially the A380 members, Government Pizza, Riley Preston, Thomas Roach, Finian M, Larry Lama, No You, Philip Schneider, Leo, Mark Helbling, Great Grandpa John, Toby Cook, very much appreciated, uh, British Scherzer 01, Deload, YT, Moritz Wellhausen, Jackson Hawker, uh, Joan Matute, Darcy Hunkin, and Matt Atorno.